I'm done with the showing. It went well. They might put an offer in. Getting our meeting ready. It's the offer review date. We've got how many offers? Five. Five. Okay, lots to do today. I'm ready to do this interview for King Five. This is a 650 square foot one bedroom. Really frustrating in ways that like I didn't expect. I miss making videos and I miss filming and editing. Got business cards. My first buyer is in contract. I'm so excited. When I look out here, I see a whole lot of places Monica Church can sell. I really want to buy a unit in this building. I just think it's so pretty. Kind of next level. It's a really gorgeous home. It is, yeah. We're gonna check out a house that I think really encompasses everything that's amazing about living in the Pacific Northwest. This is the best location in all of Seattle. Today we're gonna check out what $1.5 million gets you in Palm Springs, California. A pool is essential. 11 o'clock, I just got home from the office like 20 minutes ago. I was there pretty late today, actually. Good morning, 5 a.m. After passing the real estate licensing exam, I officially got my license at the end of February and exactly on March 1st, I came back to Seattle and I hit the ground running as a real estate agent and was officially working. It is now 60 days later and I have officially closed on selling my first house. And not only that, I got my first listing that is now pending that is actually closing any day now as well. And I have not one, not two, not three, not even four. I have five buyers currently in contract on their homes as well. I think now you guys can understand why I've been a little bit busy and gone lately. <laughs> I'm really excited about my success so far and I'm so excited for my clients, but this didn't happen overnight. This didn't even happen over 60 days, really. This has happened over six months. Ever since I decided I'm gonna become a real estate agent, I've dedicated so much time into learning what I need to do. And I also have to give a huge shout out to you guys because I wouldn't be here without any of you either. I've been lucky enough to connect with some of you guys. Congratulations, Jeffrey! and actually help you in the process of buying your homes here in Seattle. Thank you to anyone that's reached out and if you are looking to buy or sell a home in Seattle or the greater Seattle area in general, I'd love to help you. I'll have my email below. But today is going to be from an agent's perspective because I also get a ton of questions from people looking into becoming a real estate agent, which I think is awesome. I love the business. So I want to share my journey and everything I did to get to this point today where I'm feeling really good about where I'm at within my career in real estate. Let's start from the very beginning. Why become a real estate agent? So if you're watching this and you're considering becoming a real estate agent, I'd love if you comment below why that is for you. Like what is your why? Because I do think it's important like any career you're gonna do, you have to be passionate about it to be successful. I'll share with you guys my why. You might already know when I bought my house here in Seattle, it was such an amazing experience and truly any nice day I've had in my house, the first thing that's come to mind has been my real estate agent Cyrus that helped me that I'm now on his team of course. I've had just so much gratitude and I've been so thankful because this house has given so much to me. It truly has been the perfect fit and I love my life here. And if it weren't for a great real estate agent, I wouldn't be in this house today. Really understanding the value in the home buying process and what a good real estate agent can do and how that can really transform someone's life was something I thought was really special. So once you know what your why is, why you want to dedicate your life to helping people get into their homes because it is very demanding and a lot of work, let's talk about where you gotta start and that is passing your state exam. I am going to study for the real estate exam. <laughs> Before you can take the test, at least here in Washington state, it varies a little bit state by state. You have to do 60 clock hours of studying for the national portion of the test. Here you can actually see it literally, it clocks your hours. And 30 clock hours of studying for the state portion of the test. 
test. There's a lot of different tests out there that you can choose from that are licensed with your state. Many people told me you don't really learn that much about becoming a real estate agent from the test. I 100% agree with everyone that said this. Just get through it. Just get through the test. Do not spend a bunch of time studying. Just get through it. The course that I took was Rockwell Institute and it was good, but it honestly, I feel like it didn't make me feel fully prepared the day of my test. I don't know if it's really worth spending the extra money. It's one of the more expensive courses out there. Another popular one is Real Estate Express. I'll have that linked below as well. The course itself doesn't really matter that much. They're all going to have the same information. It's more about the questions that you get on the practice test. Starting my morning off with a quiz to see what I remember from studying yesterday. I just finished it, so let's see how I did. I think I did good. Okay, number one. Really got the first one wrong, are you serious? I actually got Real Estate Express after taking my exam because I wanted to check to see if that would potentially be a better option. And to be honest with you, I think it is. Like I kind of regret doing Rockwell when I could have just done Real Estate Express for much cheaper. And I've talked to other agents that took Real Estate Express and did totally fine. It's the cheaper option. In hindsight, the test is not hard. The information is not hard at all. It's just a lot. When it comes to studying and preparing for the test, don't do what I did. Please don't do it. Promise me that you won't do what I did. You probably will though. I don't blame you if you do. So here's what happened. You know, I got the course. I was so excited. I just finished the first lesson. Oh. Oh my gosh, I got a 96%. I took it so seriously at first. I opened up that first chapter. I'll study a little bit longer, but I want to be in bed by 11. I took like three hours. I took such copious notes. I really made sure I knew everything. And then I went on to the next chapter and it was very time consuming and I was slowly chipping away at it. So I think around chapter five, I was like, I'm not gonna take notes. I'm just gonna skim through, I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna see what sticks. That's what I started doing from that point on. And when I went back to retake some of the old chapters, for me, writing notes and doing all of that, it really didn't make the information stick anymore than when I just skimmed through. So that's what worked for me with studying. I understood things, but then I didn't write it down seven times and try to remember it. I just kind of went through, started understanding the concepts, then I would take the chapter test and see what would stick. And then after the second time through, I just took a bunch of tests. I think what helped me the most near the end was just doing a lot of practice tests because then it really tells you, oh, this is like the type of information I need to remember. I need to remember like these years and these laws. Real Estate Express, I'm pretty sure they do this thing where they ask you to try and remember when you're taking the exam, try and remember some specific questions and then send them into them afterwards so that when they create new courses, for people it has more up-to-date questions so their questions are actually I think some of the best for studying for the exam and honestly at the end of the day it's just doing exam questions that are gonna be the most similar to the test that's what helped me the most and then about four days before the test is when I went into full-on panic mode I'm freaking out freak it out and I just crammed so hard honestly those days of cramming that I think made the difference in me just passing so easily was just really refreshing your mind like right before you take the test Good morning I'm so nervous I passed oh my god I'm so happy it's so you've got your real estate license now what every newly licensed agent will have this moment where they're just opening their laptop and they're like wait what do I even do do now. For me, things were a little bit different because I did decide to join a team. And because I decided to go that team route while I was studying for the exam, when I had time, I was actually just shadowing him whenever I could. Whenever any of you guys reached out, I would actually connect you to Cyrus and I would be on those buyer calls. While I was still studying, I was learning a lot of real life stuff that if you don't have a mentor or someone you're shadowing, you're not going to be learning that stuff at the same time. So on day one, when I had my license, that's why I was able to very quickly make all of this happen. All right, I think I'm gonna wear this shirt today. I never really had to dress up much in my life and looking the part was kind of challenging for me. I need to dress pretty nice today because I'm meeting with my sellers. I might pull this out, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. This is like also a go-to of mine. These are my new pants. 
Look number one. Ready? Oh man. Ah. Uh, do you see this? This is just not gonna work, these pants. I would totally recommend going to the store, picking out some outfits and getting those outfits prepared at the beginning of the week so that you're not doing what I did, which was being like, I don't know what to wear. We are in this predicament again. I'm questioning everything. I don't feel comfortable in this. Maybe I could sub out a bottom, let's try that. I've got it pretty figured out now. I think this could work. Okay, I actually am really loving this. This is just more spring, you know? Guys, I'm, I'm getting it together. I can dress myself now. I like Aritzia is a great place to shop. If you're looking for things a little more inexpensive, I would recommend H&M. I will have things that I have from Aritzia that I wear all the time, probably too much. I'll have them linked below if you're interested. Ever since I got back to Seattle, I've just felt like I've been in this state of anxiousness and I hate feeling this way. Within the first couple of weeks, you experience a lot of firsts and little milestones that once you get through them, you just start to feel more confident as an agent. And let me tell you guys, the first couple of weeks for me, I was so stressed out and anxious. Uh, I'm kind of having a hard time sleeping and being able to calm down. My palms are always sweaty. I feel this tightness in my chest. It's just your classic case of feeling really, really anxious. I think I need to learn to meditate. Okay, here we go. I'm like overwhelmed, but I'm happy. But I feel like crazy. So getting a way to pressure valve it and like let it out a little is what we're trying to go for here. So. Yeah, this is good. I haven't had a job in my life where I was a bit nervous about all the firsts that I had to do. So the first couple weeks of firsts, of working with people, of calling real estate agents, all these things made me so unbelievably nervous and anxious. This is my first time ever going out and showing, so I wanna get there early, make sure I know where the key box is located and not be fumbling around when my client gets there. Can you guys tell I'm a little nervous? Let's do this. It's also normal at first to feel a bit overwhelmed. I felt so overwhelmed sometimes, which leads me to the last really important part in becoming a real estate agent is do not forget to put yourself first sometimes. The last 60 days for me have been crazy and I really have been trying to just be head down, working super hard, truly bending over backwards for people, but it, it got to a breaking point. <sighs> okay, I'm <laughs> feeling really frustrated and really just like down right now. And I miss making videos and I miss filming and editing. I don't know how to balance that and YouTube. I wanna be able to balance both and it's hard not to feel really down when I'm putting others before myself so much and I'm trying to do everything I can for people. I just felt really burnt out and frustrated. To an extent, this isn't what I signed up for, I feel like. It, it was my own fault for just not knowing how to manage my time and not knowing when it's okay to put myself first. Well, I gotta go, gotta go show some properties, guys, so. Wish me luck. And that's something that in the last three weeks I've really been able to figure out more and I just have this happier balance where I'm able to still juggle everything and YouTube and breathe. <laughs> I do think it's important to show that this doesn't all just come easy. In real estate, there's highs and lows, just like any job. And within these last 60 days, there were some moments that really challenged me. It's so easy for me to talk about the successes I've had, but I think it's also important to disclose that not every moment is fun mansion house tours and champagne closings. That about does it for my first 60 days as a real estate agent. I wish you the best if you're looking into becoming an agent, I will leave you with, um, you know, be yourself, be professional, work hard, um, get organized, be good at parallel parking, and be just confident in driving. 
maybe consider getting a hybrid or an electric car because you're gonna drive so much you're gonna like be at gas stations all the time and find what makes you different there's so many agents out there and I think the best kind of advice I've also heard is you know you work with people that you attract that like working with you for you so be yourself and find something that just maybe makes you different and that makes you stand out and social media can be a great tool for connecting with clients so definitely utilize that and I I hope it all goes well for you so that that's it. I gotta go pick up an earnest money check now. So I, I gotta go. And I'm not even kidding. I actually, I do need to do that right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.